Good morning, evening, or afternoon, everybody. It's Kaggle coming at you with another video. So today, I'm going to be talking about sort of something that's a little hypothetical. I don't know if they're going to do this, um, but I saw that they're going to be making this change for Retail WoW, and it um, had me worried that they might implement this here in Classic as well. Um, and that, of course, is going to be the change to add-ons that they're sort of making, and essentially DBM and Weak Auras might not work the way that they do currently and if you're raiding actively um you definitely know how reliant and how beneficial those tools can be um while raiding but before we get into the video be sure to like comment and subscribe everything you guys do helps my channel grow helps me get discovered and helps me help as many people as possible which is the entire point of my channel but let's get into the video so, as I mentioned, DBM and Weak Auras from that retail um, PTR are going to be limited for the first time ever. And what they mean by that is they're just going to sort of not work the way they do. They're not going to be able to almost play the game for you in aspects that they do currently. And while this has only been said for retail, I can imagine that they might uh, implement that here in Classic as well. Uh, probably around ICC when you get a lot of fights that have a lot more detailed mechanics. Um, so let's take a moment here and we are going to head over to that post right now. And I will show you guys what it all uh, sort of says here. So here's the formal post from Blizzard. It says, Weakhorus has reported that Blizzard now has the ability to restrict certain spells and mechanics from being solved by add-ons while retaining some customization options for players. So, weak auras and add-ons in Mythic Raid encounters. Uh, add-on usage has been a controversial topic in Mythic Raids for a while now, with more and more complex add-ons and weak auras being developed to counter the increasing difficulty of the raids. The difficulty of the raids has been increasing due to the increasing rate of automation by the add-ons, and we have a cynical arms race in the making. Over many raid tiers have had weak auras, like the Jailer Bomb Assignment weak aura, which told you which hole to jump into, Archimonde's Rot Chaos, which gave you a radar, and assignment weak auras for the Hydra Shot on Mistress uh, Salazine in the Tombs of Sargeras. As the race to World First continued, these top guilds even had add-on developed whose sole purpose was to create weak cores and add-ons to aid with encounters and usually these aids uh, trickle down to every other guild. Um, add-on animation has been increasing over time and it seems blizzard may have implemented a solution for patch 10.1 according to weak auras blizzard has a private aura system that they can use when they do not want add-ons to be able to defect uh, detect certain spells or auras while also retaining a way for players to be able to customize basic aspects of the debuff such as positioning or an icon previously blizzard only had the option to fully hide these auras which would make these auras completely invisible to all add-ons which would not be good for the player base this new option would more easily allow for the encounter designers to design mechanics which they know add-ons would not be able to solve automatically forcing players to solve it using their own methods while retaining the information that players will need to solve the mechanics so that's i think that's a really really good change for the game overall it allows um it allows for a lot more creativity i don't really play retail anymore so i don't think my opinion's too important on that but if they were to bring it over to classic it'd be really interesting to see what they sort of allow what they don't allow because classic is way way more easier than uh these retail mythic raids and such so like it would be definitely an interesting thing to see what would happen with that and then we have the customization problems currently if blizzard wanted to hide an aura they could not uh they could but it would not be they would not being able to be detected by normal add-ons which would mean that these mechanics would probably only be detected by using the default ui if you have a mechanic that applies debuffs to players and forces them to do something when they get it the weak or would not be able to solve it and tell people where to go but players might not even see they have the debuff if they're using custom ui interface for the debuffs however weak or is explained that blizzard is exploring ways to allow for some cons uh, customization through the api to display these icons 
icons and have some customization options but not get any information about them already having the new call in the api called unit or uh, whatever that file is so i think this is a good change i just wanted to sort of see what you guys thought sort of speculate on it um if we see it in classic how much will that affect us because like some of these add-ons and uh, weak orders and classic like i have um this warlock one which pretty much tells me every buff and then i also have um a weak aura for old war that my friend shared with me um i think it's from the guild too but it is really really good it sort of shows us everything that we need to know for old war and it's just some really really good weak wars and stuff um and so they really really help you raid and so it'd be really interesting to see what that would look like in classic and if they're going to even do it so just wanted to hear you guys' thoughts opinions definitely comment down below i'd love to see what you guys think about this and until next time i'll see you later Bye bye if you made it to the end of this video thank you so so much for watching it truly means a lot to me if you happen to find anyone that you know would also benefit from watching this video please 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 share it with them it helps me out a ton and allows me to keep doing what i love every single day and that is gaming and sort of helping people any way that i can so finally thank you so much and i hope you have a fantastic day goodbye